have you ever opened your courier drawer and noticed that by the time you open it you get an error message telling you that your trial has expired or in one way or the other you try to open your courier drawer and notice that it refuses to open this error can easily be fixed in most cases most people what they usually do is to uninstall the courier drawer program and reinstall it again in this particular tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix that particular problem without even uninstalling your Core draw from your system and this trick can be applied to any version of core draw now without further waste of time just stick around i'm going to walk you through all the whole step on how to fix this particular problem <laughs> hello everyone you're welcome this is kingsley from kingsbird designs if you're just joining me for the first time please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video now once you get you are getting an error like like the ones i just mentioned what you're going to do is to just come to your windows hold on your window key on your keyboard on your keyboard just hold on the window key and press r on your keyboard it's going to bring out the run dialog for you so now from here now i'm going to now on this side i'm going to input some something just what you are going to do is to type in percent tie app data app data percent tie app data percent tie just enter it on your on the run dashboard and what you are going to do now is to click on enter once you click on enter it's going to open up the app data folder for you now once once this place has is open the next thing you are going to do to solve this particular problem is just one thing you can see from this app data you can see all my program files have been installed and this is where they are being like the backup of everything work i'm doing this is where they have been stored so now you can see that all this place this is where all the whole registry for all my correct draw file is so now if i should what you should do now if you encounter all this kind of problem you can see i was i'm actually in this particular folder i'm having two versions of correct draw here i'm having 19 and i'm also having 20. so now if i was probably having that issue for correct draw 20 by the time i open this place i'm going to come to this place and delete the whole correct draw 20 out of this particular section if it were to be the corridor 19 i'm going to delete that of the corridor 19 out so or better still what you are going to do is to click on here and just delete it out from your system once you delete this particular folder out from your system don't worry about it by the time you open your corridor again it's going to recreate itself again so but by this time now all the backup of your, your registry will be deleted now you are is like now opening a very a new file just as if you installed the correct draw new so by the, doing this now you have been able to fix that particular error which it was throwing so now if you are having this particular issue just by just doing this deleting this particular file is going to get your correct draw working normal this process can actually be applied to any kind of software you are working with perhaps any software that is actually giving you some that was working not pro normally and later on decided to give you some other problem you can apply the same method to that it's going to fix that error for you if you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos I hope you've learned from this particular tutorial. I wanted to give this video a like if you actually if this have actually solved your problem and if you have any video idea you want me to work on or any difficulty anywhere, you can actually drop in the comment comment box below. I'm going to try my best to see how to respond. If you're watching from my website, you can also drop your comments in the comment box below. Until next time, bye for now.